Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning with me, Bring It On. Rattlesnake was a vain and ugly creature. He crawled in dark places and avoided the other desert animals. He was lonely but refused to act like it. One day, while sitting under a rock and wishing to be happy, he saw a desert runner sprinting past. Wait, it called to the bird. I have a favor to ask of you. All right, then we're gonna explore Apples here in this episode. Try to map out the whole region, knock out all the war stones, gather whatever quests are laying about here. I don't suspect there'll be many quests. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Modus mining day fifty-one. Exit report. It is done. Snaketail Grotto has been closed. The bodies have been buried. All obvious traces of the refinement unit disaster have been covered and sealed. If the gods are good, no one will ever question our intentions here. Modus Mining built Whitestone and Apatir. We will forever be servants of the people. But the time has come to move on. All operations henceforth... All operations are henceforth being moved to the new sites in Hollowlands. Well, this place looks pretty settled. This is the uh, region that houses the capital, the gnome capital, the capital Odessa, so. That makes sense. Absolute slaughter. At what point do you start feeling bad that the enemies can't fight back? Lachlan's hand wraps. I've already read that descriptor. There's a quest up here to gather. May as well get that while we, for while we explore. Then we can knock it out as we go. This whole region is giving me very strong MMO vibes. Like the design of the, uh, just the layout of the region. Looks like something in an, in an, in an MMO. It's very hard to say. All right, welcome to Whitestone. Do I want to talk to the people in Whitestone yet? Or do I want to avoid it? Also, holy crap, if it's three settlements Edessa, Sun Camp, and Whitestone. I'm going to avoid. I don't want to have three episodes in a row. Yeah, let's just talk to the people in Whitestone. That'll be what this episode is all about. Let's talk to Bjorn first. I'm sorry, I hit my desk. Well, well, well. Never seen your face before. Can't say I like it. Listen up, dog face. There are two rules in Bone Town. Number one, Mayor Eswin's law is absolute. Number two, if you don't like rule number one, then you'd better get your ass out of town. Now go meet the mayor yourself. He likes to know where the kobolds kick in from the wastes, especially with the families running wild. All right, I'll talk to him. Listen to that. You're fitting in pretty well already. I'll see you around Whitestone, Dogface. Don't know if I like my new nickname or not. Uh, Whitestone. People call it Bone Town because of the pale rocks jutting up from the sand. 
And because of the death rate. Uh, Mayor Eswin. He's not from around here. A city boy, born and raised in Myria. Came to seek fortune, but landed in Apatia right when Motus Mining caught their losses. You'd think he'd wither in this desert, but it was his idea to bring in the mercenaries. With Mayor Eswin in Whitestone, we have a fighting chance. Uh, Apatia families. Miners. And they used to make a good living, too, back when Motus Mining had its teeth in Apatia. When Modus pulled out, the money dried up. Now most of them are criminals. A nasty lot. The Zungars are the worst. The Darkvari and the Sinrig know Liana's dance as well. Uh, Liana's dance. Simpesta Liana was first sworn. They called her the Desert Runner. And you do well to learn her ways out here. Uh, criminals. There's plenty of them. Just ask Kara. Or walk a few paces out of Whitestone in any direction. Sometimes they even come into town. A few weeks ago, I caught a bandit trying to slip into the mayor's window. Fool. He's been locked up in a cage ever since. As an example. All right, Adath Scoria. He's a dangerous man, and they'll stop at nothing to bring ruin to Whitestone. Luckily, the mayor knows how to deal with crooks like Scoria. Okay. What we got going on over here? Mercenary, mercenary, mercenary. Finally finish that quest. I didn't get anything in for it besides the uh, the reagents that I planted. Oh, the bone wall. Cool. The uh, contract board has a unique name. All right, Hera or Helm. You there? You look like you could use some coin. Do I? That didn't sound quite right. Let me try again. Are you interested in some work? If so. The mayor of Whitestone is hiring. The work is bloody, but what work isn't nowadays? Go check the bone wall. There's something there for everyone. Her comment still didn't make sense. I'm rocking millions of gold in my pocket. I probably can't even stand up straight because of all the gold weighing me down. She's like, oh, you look like you could use some, some coin. Uh, Whitestone. I don't know much about it. Mayor Eswin brought me and Bjorn down first, out of Ironfast Keep. The pay is weak, but so is the enemy. If I were you, I'd stay in town, avoid the wastes. The desert is crawling with kobolds, and just about every human you find out there is going to want a piece of you. Well, thank you. I assume she's calling me attractive. Also, I like how Bjorn sitting there insulting me this whole time when I'm the, uh, as he got promoted to True Sworn, was it last episode? <laughs> and he's talking all that smack, and I just found out he's a, a war sworn himself, so. Anyway, uh, Scoria. You'll have to talk to Mayor Eswin about the Scorias. He asked us to focus on the other families first. Aliana's dance. Ah, so you've been talking to Bjorn, have you? I'm not that interested in the war sworn stories. I much prefer the pay. Uh, Bone Wall. The Bone Wall is where we post bounties and contracts. I'm sure you can guess how it got its name. Apatir Mining Families. Not a weakling in the bunch. Every one of them with a thirst for combat. They'd kill you for a single coin. In a way, it's almost impressive. The Zungars are the worst, but the Dark Bari and Sinrix aren't much better. Don't worry about the Scorias. They're everywhere, but harmless, like roaches. Uh, Zungar. The Zungars killed the first group of mercenaries that Eswin hired. Raided Whitestone the very next day. We've held them off for a while now, but they're tough, even for Warsworn. Uh, Sinric. The Sinrics are handsome boys, despite their ways. They always give me a smile from afar. Too scared to get close. And Darkvari. The Darkvari are a miserable lot. 
But don't let the rags and rusty daggers fool you. What they lack in skill, they make up for in brute force. So long. Now, the government of Whitestone is always seeking help securing the peace. If you'd like to earn some extra gold by hunting down a wanted bandit, take one of these contracts. Darkvari family. Grand Darkvari and his cousins have made a crooked living attacking and looting gnome shipments from Edessa. If you're looking to score some quick coin, you could raid the Darkvari family mind, ending the raids, and the Darkvari. Alright, Sinric family. Kidnappers and black marketers. Uh, the Sinric family has played the government of Whitestone, both past and present. Now with the gnomes gone, the Sinrics have taken over much of Apatir. Do the right thing, and you'll get paid. And Zungar family. No criminal in the history of Apatir has terrorized a populace like Feld Zungar. His group of murderers and thugs are no longer satisfied to live on the fringes of society. Now they wish to overthrow law and Whitestone altogether. Help the good folk of Apatir and kill the Zungars. I can probably manage that. I'm pretty good at killing. Stag Darkvari. Good day. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here. Well, if you're fond of a good story, lend me your ear. I won't disappoint. I'll try to keep it short, even though I've got all the time in the world for embellishment. Uh, Zungars. They're not as bad as some think, but worse than you'd imagine. I have the scars to prove it, unfortunately. A uh, Whitestone. Look, I'm in a cage in the middle of this town. What do you want me to say? I'm not really in a good position to talk about it right now. Uh, Stag Darkvari. I am no one of consequence, something the guards in Whitestone failed to realize. However, if you ask my father, he'd take my side. I'm a complete disappointment. Okay, uh, Apatir families. Sinrix, Darkvari, Zongars, and Scorias, all bastards. Not half as bad as these guards. They can't catch all of us, and we can't kill all of them. And what did you do? What did I do? Nothing. I just happened to bear the name Darkvari, a crime in Upper Tier in these trying times. The mayor's blade seized me at the gates of Edessa. Here's the trick of it. I was leaving home, slipping free of my familial bondage. I'm no thug. I am guilty of but one crime only. Stealing a girl's heart. Her name is Hrindi Zunga. And at this very moment, she waits for me with no word of my whereabouts. Please, stranger, will you help me? Uh, tell me about Hrindi. She is the sun that comes to warm me every morning. We met a short time ago, mere weeks. But true love has no memory of time. Yes, Zungars and Darkvari aren't exactly kin. In fact, they're sworn enemies and rivals. Imagine how powerful they'd be if they shared blood instead of spilled it. Well, I'll get you out. I knew I liked you. From the moment I laid eyes on you through these enormous iron bars. Getting the key won't be easy. Bjorn, the head of their mercenaries, carries it on his person. I wouldn't want to be the one who has to rifle through his pockets. Uh, Hrindi Zungar. I've promised to rescue Hrindi from her family's life of corruption. She deserves more than a shack along the snake tail. She deserves sky blossom, whispers. I've been in this cage for weeks, but Hrindi will wait. We swore an oath to each other. A family rivalry. I care not for stale poison. I doubt the Zungars and Darkvari even know why they're angry. It's an old hatred, old as the red stone. Hrindi and I want none of it. How do I get the key? Bjorn's men are ridiculously loyal. Try to catch him alone, out of the friendly eye. If you don't, our little agreement will end up rather short-lived. Yeah. Well, we can try and steal the key real fast. I'm hoping. Strange job. Oh, he's actually walking out of the uh, town. God! God! Keep your eyes open. 
Well, all right, he's over there angry. I'm just not going to go talk to him. <laughs> he's outside well of town. Done. Now, you've done me this one favor. Let's finish what we've started. Before I can leave this cursed desert, I need several things. First, I need to fetch the item that will finance our new life in Odessa, our nest egg. It is an heirloom that has been in the Darkvari family for generations. Then I need you to find Hrindi and bring her to me at our old meeting place in Snaketail Canyon. Please, you must do this for me. For us. Thank you. See, now I feel like I'm getting taken along for a ride. I don't appreciate it. Alright, so what do we have? Mayor's Cottage, Mayor's Villa, General Store, and Thirsty Wench. What's the guy up here? Von Gortan. To go talk to him, I think. Because he's not in a building. Yeah. No time for conversation. I'm on the job. Okay, let's conversate. Whitestone. Same as any place else, in my opinion. I just stick to the job. Guard, train, and rough up anyone who gets in the way of the mayor's plans. Von Gortan. Nothing to tell, really. My wife and I lived in Rathir, until we had to take work elsewhere. She in the army and me with this rough outfit. I hate being apart. A crystal war. What's there to say? It's an unfortunate affair. I don't foresee anyone coming out the better for it. I only hope that many return from the front lines unharmed. Stay out of trouble. Alright, we'll start with the general store and work our way to the northern. Locales. Hey there. Hello, uh, Varric Dunbert. Don't kill me, please. Just a little Whitestone humor for you. Hmm. Maybe it's not for everybody. My name's Varric Dunbert. In my trade selling. We get a quirky collection of goods in town these days. You're welcome to it. Thank you. Uh, let's shop first. You have... Nope, nothing good. Uh, travelers. I don't mind them. In fact, think Mitharu, that sun camp, is just down the road. Without their merchants, the people of Whitestone would starve to death. We don't get many supplies from the city, and there's no work to be done in trade. Honest thieves, one man's opinion. Uh, strangers. You're right, I see pretty much everything and everyone that comes in and out of Whitestone. And we do get our share of eccentric visitors. Just the other day I noticed a real sorrowful looking alpha lurking around the tavern. A Scoria family. Some say they're not criminals, despite the mayor's proclamations. I'll refrain from judging. Uh, Mayor Eswin. Honestly? Well, I'm not sure what to make of that one. He certainly got clean hands for someone in Apatia. Rumor has it he's city bred. Have you seen his cottage? It is more rooms than a flop house. Uh, Apatia families. Oh, don't you break into a sweat over the Sinriks and the Zungars. Good people. Uh, at least they were back in the days of the cotton shovel. Now they make their living with the sword. Can't say I blame them. Not after what the gnomes did to us. See you soon. Yeah, maybe. Letter to Varric. Don't worry about me. I'm in good hands. The Sinrix are a riotous lot, but no more than any of the rest of us. They still have some honor despite their recent villainy. It's a shame they've had to fall so far as simply to stay alive. Isn't that the way of Apatir? I'll be in touch, my friend. If anyone asks about me, send them away from the quarry, even our allies. 
I can't risk having that snake S1 discover my location. Unchecked, he will stop at nothing to crush all of Whitestone under his well manicured thumb. City dwellers. Was that old joke? How can you tell if a man's a noble? Check his. Uh, be well, Beric. You'll be hearing from me soon. Your friend, A.S. Let's so probably go ahead and clear out our junk while I'm thinking about it. Alright, I guess next up is the tavern. The Thirsty Wench. Off to work. I got a few people to talk to in here. <laughs> Modus Memorandum. As a reminder for all employees of Modus Mining interests that any and all dealings with non personnel are to be avoided at all costs. Due to the high incidence of solicitation and erroneous damages claims uh, made by such people, interactions between modus mining personnel and non-personnel be intermediated by branch heads. Alright, let's talk to Bera Grastar. Welcome to the Thirsty Wench. I'm Bera Grastar, owner, innkeep, and namesake. We don't get many strangers in Whitestone, at least not since motors pulled out and the mercenaries dug in. What can I get you? Uh, Whitestone. Same old faces, same old troubles. Whitestone hasn't changed much since the gnomes left us to the wastes. The mercenaries are new and good for business. We do have a few visitors, Alpha and a traveler to boot. I'd better watch out or the thirsty wench is going to get all respectable. Uh, travelers. Yeah, they come into town every so often, looking to socialize, I guess. Best keep your eyes on your belongings. There's a whole camp of them east of here near the cliffs. I think they call it Sun Camp. That was a joke. She didn't finish her first sentence, saying she had no idea why it was called Sun Camp. A uh, room. Sure, we've got a few available, but they'll cost you. Nothing comes cheap in Whitestone. Uh, no thanks. It's your choice. Not many places to sleep in Whitestone where the rats won't get at you. A uh, prisoner. You mean Steg? He's a good kid. Dumb as a plank, but sweet as they come. I really hope he gets out soon so he and Rindy can be together. Uh, modus mining interests. Barely worth my breath, those bastards. Tell me, is it right to build a town and then suddenly leave it to rats? I don't think so either. The gnomes of modus mining have the people's hopes to answer for. They know better than to ever show their faces in Apatir again. Uh, Mayor Eswin. He's fine as far as nobles go, although he doesn't exactly fit in around here. He lacks that important layer of filth that comes from growing up in Apatir. Uh, Apatir families. Not everyone in Apatir worked for one of the big mining families, but most of them did. And when the work dried up, they stayed with their crews. Only now they're robbing travelers and kidnapping merchants instead of digging. Only thing we dig in Whitestone these days are graves. Uh, food supplies. Don't tell anyone, but I've run out of meat to serve the customers. If these louts find out, they're liable to start a riot. Do you have any meat with you? I'll pay you good money for it. I can get some. Okay, I guess that's better than nothing. I don't care where you get it, as long as it smells like meat when I place it over the fire. Okay, uh, sell animal meat. Hurry up with some meat, or it'll be my bones they'll be eating. Alright, mercenary. Mercenary. Miner, miner. Miner. What do you want? Chasing the snake tail. Is it worth reading? Probably not. Lena Ardeen. Are they giving you a hard time around here too? Whitestone, a boot full of vipers this place. Can't stand it. And after everything we've done for them down in Sun Camp, you'd think they'd be more appreciative. 
And starvation's too good for the mayor, I say. Okay, uh, Whitestone. It's a good town, or it was before the Motus disaster and the mercenaries. I have fond memories of Whitestone. <laughs> I used to buy candy at Varick's place. Simpler times. Uh, what is Sun Camp? We're travelers by affiliation, but we specialize in fair exchange of goods and services. Not to say we won't steal, it's just not our stock and trade. You'll find us east of here, past the old Motus Mining Headquarters building, just shy of the seaside cliffs. You should stop by, it's quite a view. Now, why do you hate the mayor? Silly question. Who doesn't hate the mayor? We travelers had a good thing going here in Whitestone. The people came to us for their needs. We had a relationship. Now Mayor Eswin says trading with travelers is illegal, and as a result, the folks of Apatir won't touch us. I'm surprised they even let me into town without a fight. Now, can I try to steal it? What am I trying to steal? You're welcome to give it a go, but I can't promise you'll get anywhere. That old mansion was built by the gnomes back when they first settled the village. It's got more hidden corners than a spider web. I doubt old Eswin's even seen all of it. I doubt the old mayor has either. Maybe I'll show some initiative eventually. Until then, you're welcome to make us both look good. I don't know what I'm supposed to be stealing. Uh, travelers. Some of us join because we have to. Others expect it to be an adventure. We're a patchwork, really. A glorious patchwork of imperfection. Uh, Mayor Eswin. He's as corrupt as they come, but I shouldn't be one to speak, not with my associations. Still, it's one thing to say you're a crook, and another to pretend you're not. Alina uh, Ardine. It wasn't my life plan to become a traveler, believe me. But sometimes necessity is the only star you follow. My parents were miners and worked themselves to the bone to provide. When the terrenium dried up, so did they, you could say. I didn't want to leave Apatir, so I stayed. Uh, getting into the mayor's house. The doors are locked, so I'm guessing there are keys required. That's usually how the arrangement works. Okay. Bye. Don't know what I'm supposed to be stealing, but I can do it. I need this, right? This is a quest thing. Accident report. It happened last night before the evening meal and before the briefing by scholars Julian and Amos. Uh, the experimental refinement unit in Snaketail Grotto has suffered a stress fracture in its base. The foundation split, causing a large amount of waste to spill into the underground lake beneath. This lake feeds right into the Snaketail River. I don't believe there is any cause for concern. I should keep informed of any developments. Alright, here we go, here we go. Squire Corrin. What is it? Can't you see I'm celebrating? That's right. Raise your glass, friend. Let's make a toast to cowards. All right, uh, Whitestone. This village is as good as any. I've seen many such places, all of them ravaged by the war, all of them feeling the distant decay of the Tuatha. There is no escape. Uh, the Crystal War. What's there to say? The Tuatha just keep growing bolder, and our number's fewer. Not like the people of Apatia care. They've got their own problems. Uh, Squire Court. I walk the wall of Melsenshir. Do you know what that's like? The silence breathes, the shadows move. Every night is a lifetime. No drink can drown those memories. Uh, what are you celebrating? I've made a choice, you see. After much deliberation and many pines, I've decided to disobey my direct superiors and not perform my duties. To the fires with orders, I am finished delivering death notices. I've seen the faces of the war dead. I've no desire to look into the eyes of their loved ones. And what are your duties? I volunteer to be a messenger, 
to bring death notices from the War Council to the families of the deceased. I thought it would be welcome respite from the war. It's been its own kind of hell. I got through some of them, but by the time I reached Apatir, I was done. Oh no, the uh, the guard that we talked to outside, uh, was it Gortan? I'm willing to bet that his wife is dead. I'll deliver them. You would do that? It would keep me from getting discharged, for I'm not going back. Here are the death notices. Take this medicine as well. I have my own right here. Ironic, isn't it? I can face the enemy, but I can't face the families of those who fought beside me. Pathetic. Your energy will not be spent in vain. I will pay you well to do this for me, but the road will be long and fraught with grief. Oh, what do I tell the families? Yep, Joanne Gortan, there it is. Oh man, it's be rough. Tell them what you want. Don't change what has happened. Their sons and daughters are gone. No one can soften that blow. Goodbye. All right, let's go talk to the mayor, and I think that's the last place we can currently enter. Be on your guard. So I think the house is supposed to be locked. Oh no, I can't get up here. Because it's through the house. What's up here? Oh, these death notices are all over the place. Okay. Yeah? Oh. Don't mind me, I'll squeeze in here real fast. Sadly, they can't see me. There's nothing I need in these containers, so it's okay. Adventure 2, we've read that one, I think. There we go, that's unlocked. <laughs> There's the uh, mayor's cave key. Toast collection two. We need that. Seven out of ten. We still need three of them. Jeez. Let me let me look at the quest real quick. Quick for that. Uh, where's it at? I never finished this. So to my knowledge, maybe it's not because it's under tasks, so these probably don't have set locations, they're probably randomized. I'll probably have to go back there at some point and wrap that up. The rest of these are well this one too. So these are probably randomized as well. And this one, these these have set places though. Yeah, some of them are all the way in Clericon. I'm going to assume two of them are in Odessa, then one's over here in uh, Clericon. How tedious. Alright. So I'm going to actually mark this one. I don't want to forget about it. Uh, where is that? Might go back and take care of that. Off camera. Alright, Mayor Eswin. Elfheim? Stand right there. Let me take a look at you. Filthy, weary, lonely, but special, that's for certain. We don't see folks like you in Whitestone very often. I'm Mayor Eswin Elfhelm, 
and I'm the closest thing to a friend you've got around here. Uh, Zongars. It would take quite a bit to convince me the Zongars weren't criminals from the start. It's probably no surprise the worst miners of Apotir make the best brigands. Uh, Whitestone. This little town was the heart of the boom, the engine that drove the rise of Odessa. But in business, every boom is followed by the eventual bust. The gnomes moved out. With the gnomes went the gold, and with the gold went the jobs. Whitestone has been a shell of itself since. But I seek to change all that. Ascoria. Uh, Liars, thieves, and scum. Let's hope they never take control of Apotir. Uh, Modus Mining. Terrenium. It's the only reason the gnomes ever graced it here with their presence. Normally they'd find the climate too dry. They like their beards curly. Modus Mining settled Whitestone, built all the mines and relocated the families. Once they'd taken what they came for, they vanished almost overnight. Disgraceful. Uh, Mayor Eswin. My given name is Eswin Elfhelm, but people around here call me Mayor Eswin. They're simple people. That's why I like them. I grew up in the old main city of Miria, west of here. I'd never worked a full day in my life. I'm certainly making up for it now. I sleep one, two hours a night. Uh, gnomes. Once the Terrenium ran out, they moved on. Gnomes don't care for the welfare of other races. They're hoping we'll kill each other off. Save them the trouble. Uh, Darkvari. The Darkvari were hit hardest by Modus's relocation. The young men and women watched the elders and children waste away. Now they're all that's left. Sad story, isn't it? Doesn't excuse their lawlessness. Uh, Sinric. The Sinric boys think this is a game. They're laughing now, but we'll see how they like the taste of their own ruthlessness. They're the second oldest family in Apatir, and they're headed for a prison or the graveyard. Apatir Mining Families. There are four mining families. The Dagvari, the Sinriks, Zungars, and the Scorias. When the gnomes departed, so did the jobs. There was nothing for the miners left behind. Starvation, desperation, well, they change people. Most of the miners in Apatir kept their sanity, even when they lost everything else. But the others, they turned to banditry. The usual theft, kidnapping, murder. You'd best stick close to Whitestone. You're an easy target. Am I? Alright, a Darth Scoria. An obstacle in the way of progress. The old man still believes that Apatia could come back from its decline by force of will. Typical of a miner. Keeps digging away. Uh, why do I need a friend? Some call it war. I call it survival. The Modus mining interest left an empty throne when it abandoned Apatia. And now everyone wants that power. The people here. The decent, honest, hard-working people of Apotir have been through enough. Starvation, humiliation, they needed a leader, one who cares. My goals are simple, to stop the warring in Whitestone and to rescue it from the brink of extinction. And you, you can help me. What do you say, partners? Uh, what will I be doing? I like you, you're not a fool. Want to know what you're getting into? Well, I think big, but I'm smart enough to start small. I need a person who can do both. I want you to acquire something for me. Something that rightfully belongs to me. All right, I'll work for you. There's a man named Adath Scoria, patriarch of the most prominent mining family in Apotir. Months ago, I bought his family mine. It wasn't cheap. Now Adath refuses to surrender the property. In fact, he's gone into hiding and won't meet with me. I need you to acquire what is legally mine. The deed to his claim. Modus Mining stored all the records in its old headquarters east of the village. But the building has long since been overrun. Get that deed, and we're in business. Uh, Miria. My home. A lifetime ago, it seems. The port was nice. The smell of fish near the harbor was... offensive. You'd have a hard time finding anything that resembles Miria here in Detir. Right, uh, where is the deed? Probably in that relic of a building that was once Motus headquarters. Now a haven for thugs and criminals. Near the cemetery to the east. Okay. Uh, so we have a quest that takes us in there, so we won't do that yet. Let's go talk to Gortan. 
After we talk to Gortan and turn in the first death notice, I might call it an episode, and then off camera, I might go and take care of this task. This is bothering me that I let that slip past. I'll just search all the containers in uh, the Forsaken Plane, I guess, again. We'll figure it out. But I want to leave that hanging. Because it's not a repeatable task like a lot of the other ones. It's one that has a definitive ending, I think. Yes, what is it? We're not supposed to speak with the citizens. Well, not really a citizen. Uh, Joanne Gortan has died. Joanne? You mean my wife has died? I knew she sailed for Chlorocon, but we got so little news here in Apatir. I told her the war wouldn't last. I insisted. And as usual, I was wrong. My wife was beautiful. She deserved better. I only wish I could have given it to her. I only wish I could have been there for her in the end. Thank you for telling me. Uh, Joanne Gortan. Joanne never wanted children. She said it was too harsh a world for young ones. Said we should use our lives to make a difference. I have to believe she was right. The army rejected me on account of my missing toes. So I came here to make extra coin while Joanne was away. To wait for her. Now it seems I will wait forever. All right, that's one of four taken care of. Uh, the rest of them are scattered around, well, elsewhere. The second plane, so it's this entire area. Two regions I have to search through. All right, well, I'll take care of that off camera. I'm gonna call the episode here. Uh, hopefully I'll have that done, uh, this quest, and we'll turn it, in, uh, turn it into the scholar. Oddwald, Oddwald Benothis. And then we'll start doing all these side quests here in Apatir and I finished mapping out the region. Yeah, got a lot to do. Got a lot of quests here. Did not expect that many in this uh, tiny town. Especially with uh, Odessa right beside us. Because I assume there will be quests from Odessa that take us back into Detir. But uh, maybe not, because we already have a ton of quests for this region. Not to mention the quests we'll get from Sun Camp as well. It's a really busy area. Well, anyway, gonna call it here. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.